Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number 7 and the name of our chapter is Electricity and Magnetism. Today we are going to, I am going to deliver lecture number 10 and it is a project. So my dear students, before moving on to, uh, towards this project, let's quickly recap what we have done in the previous lecture. So here look at the pictures and tell me what are electromagnets. In the last lecture, we studied types of magnets, which are called uh, temporary magnets, hote hai, permanent magnets, hote hai, and temporary magnets ki ek type hai, which is called electromagnets, which is produced by electric field ki production ki se magnetism, produce hoti hai, jiski se jo hai, wo magnetize hokar, magnetic field produce karti hai. So, such magnets, which are electricity se produce bante hai, are called electromagnets. So, my dear students, so in this lecture, we will learn to electromagnets. Banana so, uh, let's quickly move forward towards the pre-reading question. So, quickly tell me why electromagnet is a temporary magnet. Because when the electricity cut off, ho jati hai, to they lose their, the magnets also lose their electricity, uh, sorry, magnetism. Because this uh, magnetic field, which is electric current, ki बनी थी और जैसे इलेक्ट्रिक करंट को आप स्टॉप करेंगे क्या होगा मैग्नेटिज्म भी अपने आप लूज होती जाएगी और खत्म हो जाएगी ओके माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू प्लीज ओपन पेज नंबर 103 आई होप एवरीबॉडी हैज ओपन द पेज सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स क्विकली रीड आउट द मटेरियल दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड द इंस्ट्रक्शंस आल्सो सो हाउ टू मेक इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेट्स मटेरियल दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड इज लार्ज आयरन नेल कॉपर वायर सेल बैटरी wire stripper, tape, magnetic object, okay. Now the procedure is wrap a copper wire around the nail, leave at least 20 centimeters of wire loose on both sides of the nail, use plastic core on both sides of the loose wire on both strippers, attach one exposed end of the wire to the positive terminal of the battery and tape the wire to the terminal. Attach the other end of the wire to the negative terminal of the battery and tape. Place the tip of the nail near the small magnetic object. Your magnet will be able to attract and pick them up. So, my dear students, here I have batteries. Okay, we pass a 12 volt ki battery hai, a 9 volt ki battery hai. I am using this battery right now. Iske ilawa, mere pas ek wire hai, jisko maine center se strip off kar kar copper wire jo hai wo. Aap hi dekhiye yahan se naked kar li and then I wrapped it around the nail. Is tarikhe se maine isko iske ird gird wrap kar diya. Corner, jo ends hai wire ke dono taraf se, unko bhi maine naked ke liya, copper wires aapko nazar aa hai. Now what I will do is, I will place one on the positive terminal, one end of the uh, wire and then I will tape it. Is tarikhe se, maine isko yaha tape kar dungi. The other terminal is also on the top or idhar bhi maine isko is tarikhe se, I will place it and then I will tape it. Make sure that this properly jo hai, tightly intact hai, to the terminals. Now, after a while, this will produce electric field and it will be magnetized. Here, I have a thumb pin or I can pick it up. See, it's magnetized. It's magnetized. Electricity ki se, magnetic field produce ho hai, jiski se, it's been magnetized. So, my dear students, is tarikhe se jo hai, aap apna electromagnet jo hai, bana sakte hai. All you need is a wire. Strip, of, uh, strip it off from the center. Copper wire naked honi chahiye. Taake jo hai, wo properly conductor ho. Or conductor ke saath hi, aap ne usko wrap around karna hai. Then, yaha se ye again insulator ke andar hai, plastic ke andar hai. Or phir corners jo hai, jo iske jo ends hai, unko bhi again jo hai, aap is tarikhe se uh, naked kar dhe. Copper wire nazar aani chahiye. And then place it on the terminal, tape it up on the both sides. Okay, my dear students, so that is how we can make an electromagnet. Now, let's quickly move forward. Electromagnets daily life mein kaha kaha istamal hote hai. Let's have a look. Aapke zehen mein hooga ke electromagnets ke dar use hote hai. So, the use of electromagnetic uh, magnet is they are used in generators, motors and transformers. Iske laata alawa electric buzzers mein aur bells mein bhi use hote hai. Headphones and loudspeakers, uh, relays and valets. Data storage devices like VCR, tape recorders, hard disk, etc. So, ye tamam cheeze jo hain inke andar electromagnets jo hain wo use kiya jata hai. Isi tarikhe se kisi bhi cheeze ko magnetize kiya jata hai aur usko jo hain wo electric field ke zariye, electricity ke zariye unko magnetize kiya jata hai. And that's how we can make electromagnets aur unke mukhtalif uses hain. 
So my dear students, now is the time for practice. For practice, you will move forward towards page number 101. Quickly open it. I hope everybody has opened the page. So now let's quickly complete this exercise. Ye MCQs hai, jiske saath, uh, multiple options. Hai. Aapko correct option ko select karna hai. So choose the correct option against each statement. The direction of magnetic lines of force is north to south, north to north, south to south, south to north. These are north to south. Then which of the following provides protection against overloading or short circuit? That is a bulb, fuse, capacitor or switch. That is a fuse. The device which stores electric energy in chemical form is bulb, capacitor, resistor, battery. That is a battery. So, number four is an example of static electricity is lightning in the sky, moon in the sky, stars in the sky, sunlight in the sky. So, that is lightning in the sky. Number five is which of the following is the device for finding direction? That is magnetic compass, magnetic stirrer, magnetic capsule, magnetic iron. So, that is a magnetic compass. Next is on page number 106, which device is used to control current? That is switch, fuse, resistor, bulb. So, that is a resistor. <clears throat> so, identify the given symbol of the following uh, uh, of the electric circuit. So, that is a bulb, battery, resistor or switch. So, that is a bulb. Which of the following statement about magnetism is true? Magnetism is the weakest at the poles of the earth. Magnetism is strongest at the pole of the earth. Force that draws objects towards each other is force of repulsion. If the north and south poles try to interact with each other, they will repel. So, number A is the correct option, rest are the wrong ones. Number 9 is each, choose the magnetic materials from the following, plastic and iron, steel and iron, wood and silver, paper and cloth. So, steel and iron are magnetic materials. Which pair of poles will move towards each other if placed close together? So, north and north will, um, uh, 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 will uh, towards each other, north and north, south and south. North, south, none of these. So, north and north and south and south will move towards each other if they are placed together. Okay? No, 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 no. Sorry. Move towards each other. Yani ke attract honge. So, that means it is north and south. So, quickly pause the video and complete the pages. I hope everybody has done it. Now, let's quickly move forward. So, number 11 is how can we make or create static electricity? So, by rubbing things together, by using the electric electricity in a wire, by pushing or pulling the things, it is not possible. So, by rubbing things together, we can create static electricity. Number 12 is what happens when a magnet is placed near a piece of iron? The piece of iron will be pushed away. The piece of iron will be attracted towards the magnet. The piece of iron will go through a physical change. The piece of iron will go through a chemical change. So, they will be attracted towards the magnet. The buildup of electric charges is one uh, in one place is static electricity, electric field, electric charge, electric uh, circuit. So, that is static electricity. So, yani ki ek jaga jab build up ho jate hai charges, ek jaga ho jate hai. so they are static. So, that is static electricity. So, quickly finish it. I hope everybody has finished it. Now, let's quickly move forward towards the homework. So, aaj aap homework mein kya karenge? Make the project at home. Discuss with your parents about different types of magnets. So, my dear students, aaj aap ne ek electromagnet ghar ja ke banana hai and discuss it with your parents. Yuki iske liye bohat hi simple apparatus required hai. So, you have to discuss it with your parents also. Okay, my dear students. So, aaj hum ne kya pada? Today, we have discussed that magnets are categorized as temporary or permanent magnets on the basis of their composition and source of magnetism. So, my dear students, we have magnets in categories mein divide kiya hai, permanent or temporary. How do we divide them divide kiya hai, inki composition ki base pe aur inki magnetism ki basis? Ke upar. I hope you have enjoyed today's lecture. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.